is beside the more desert. Session. In Bali, it is called <coughs> 12 Arenas. <coughs> they translate Arena as Pisces. Hmm? Six Pisces. The meaning of a real Arena meaning is it is extending. Hmm? Extending the cognitive process to raise money. Uh, enlarging, hmm? enlarging the cognitive process to make more. How they enlarge? If you have eye, when you see color, then if you like this color, you will enlarge your cognitive process with smiling face. Oh, very good, very good, very good, very good. <laughs> if you don't like, oh, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. <laughs> Many cognitive process will rise successfully because of eyes. Is it true? Mm -hmm. So they are enlarged. Huh? <coughs> they enlarge. So many meditators usually they criticize me who the never teach to contemplate materiality in detail. Buddha never mentioned in sutras to contemplate materiality in detail. They criticize me too much. Today, <laughs> 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 today is one sutra. This is also Mahasri Brana sutra. In Mahasri Brana sutra, Buddha explained this session. Hmm? Please listen. Chakhon cha pa jana di, hubi cha pa jana di, yin cha tadu biyam bade cha ube jadi sanyo jana ten cha pa jana di. Yadha cha nu pa na sa sanyo jana sa uba do ho di ten cha pa jana di. Yadha cha uba na sa sanyo jana sa bahana ho di ten cha pa jana di. Yadha cha bahi na sa sanyo jana sa ayde nu pa do ho di ten cha pa jana di. This is only one couple. I sensitivity in color only. What is the meaning? Because again, a big who contemplate Dhamma objects as Dhamma objects in terms of six internal sense basis and external sense basis. How does a big who contemplate? Dhamma of Jais is Dhamma of Jais in terms of six internal and external visits. Six visits. Hmm? In this Buddha's dispensation, a big who understands the eye or eye sensitivity. He understands the visible objects or colors. Visible objects or colors. He also understands the pattern which arises depending on both, both eye sensitivity and colors. Hmm? He also understands how they arise to be the, no re, uh, the rising of patterns which not yet risen, or which not, uh, which the he also understands how there comes to be the rising of unreasoned patterns. He also understands how there comes to be 
the abandoning of reason for death. He also understands how there comes to be the non-future rising of abandoned fetters. So, to be the more I'm sensitivity in eh, Kala Buddha taught his six sentences. Number one is Chakongja Pajanadi. If we go understand the I'm sensitivity or I'm transparent element. Number two is Rubeja Bajanadi. If we go understand visible objects or colors. So, Buddha is to understand I sensitivity. How he should try to understand or to see I sensitivity, I transparent element. How he should practice. This is one type of materiality only. What is I transparent element? What is eye sensitivity? How you should discern this eye sensitivity? So Buddha teach to discern or to try to understand eye sensitivity. According to Buddha's teaching, eye sensitivity or eye transparent element rise as kalapa. To see this kalapa, how you should practice? Four elements meditation, this is necessary. Without practice and four elements meditation systematically, one cannot understand, really, and one cannot understand, one cannot see Kalabas, and one cannot analyze Kalabas, and one cannot understand ultimate, true ultimate materiality, including eye sensitivity. So you must try four elements meditation systematically. When you practice four elements meditation systematically, when your concentration develops further, you will see the whole body begin transparent like ice block. And that ice block, if you get the sample elements, then very soon you will see clubbers. If you do not see clubbers, then you should try to see space. Then you will see clubbers. At that time, the whole body is a group of clubbers. You will understand the whole body is composed with small clubbers. We call these clubbers as party girls. Hmm? At the time, please pay attention to your eyeball. If you see your eyeball on the it is at the time you should again pay attention for elements in your eyeball. Then very soon when your concentration develops further, you will not see eyeball, you will see only a group of calabas, small body gas only. At the day in your eye there are two types of calabas. Number one is Transparent calabas. Number two is opaque calabas. Two types. You should analyze one transparent calabas. <coughs> In that transparent calabas, there are ten types of materiality. Earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, light faculty, and insensitivity. Or maybe transparent element. But in the eye, there are two types of transparent elements. Number one is <coughs> eye transparent element. Number two is body transparent element. Eye consciousness rise to be the own eye transparent element. Body consciousness rise to be the own body transparent element. When you open your eye and then if you look at anything, you can see so eye consciousness also writes to many on eye transfer element in the eye. Yes, also eye consciousness. Hmm? Eye consciousness writes on tra eye transfer sensitivity. Another is if you touch your eye, can you feel touching sensation? So if you touch your eye, then you can also feel touching sensation, tangible object, whether it is hot or not. Uh, hot, hot or not or supporting or pushing, hmm? you can feel. So because of this, there is also body transparent element. How you should differentiate? 
these two. They are very small club, but small particles. How you should differentiate? This is ion transparent sensitivity. This is body transparent sensitivity. How you, go, you can differentiate? No Buddha instead. You must understand ion transparent sensitivity. How you should differentiate? This is very important in detail. Hmm? Then, please get some one transparent color bar. Then please analyze. You should try to design 10 types of material including transparent element. You should design this transparent element again. Okay. Then please pay attention a little bit far away. There are maybe the whole body, there are many small body gas. A group of small body gas color, you must pay attention. In each body color, there is always color. That color, you must pay attention. Quite a little bit far away. Please try. I want to show you one example. Can you see my hand, my eye? Can you see? Yes. No, yes. no. Oh, no. Please, please do like that. Do <laughs> 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 you can see your finger or not? No. 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 Because there is no space between object and subject. Hmm? Between object and subject, there is no space. This is one reason. If there is no space, there is no light. If there is no light, you cannot see. Light is one cause hmm? to see color. In the dark, can you see? No. No. Your eye is powerless. What is powerless? Maybe all charts in the sky, when they are flying in the sky, maybe one yojana. One yojana is maybe more than 10 miles, maybe. Hmm? There may be some cops. They can see huh? this is a guy very far away, 10 miles. They can see this cops. Can you see this cops 10 miles far away? <laughs> so your eye is not powerful. In the same way, cats. Huh? In the night, they can see mouse. <laughs> they can catch. Can you see? In the dark. So your eye is no power. <coughs> there is light. After that, only you can see. So, if it is very close, eye consciousness cannot arise. Little bit far away, but then that only eye consciousness arise. But one color bus color is not the object of eye consciousness. Because in this soda, also in different sodas, Buddha taught, Chakong Chak Pajanadi, Rube Chak Pajanadi, Chakong Chak, according to Bali language, Chakongja is singular form. Rube Chak Pajanadi, Rube, this is plural form. When Buddha taught in the base, only one. In the object, there are many. How? When Buddha taught? Because many, a group of us, Kalabas, Kala only, can be the object of unconsciousness. No one Kalaba. One Kalaba can be seen by my domain consciousness. What? According to your own uh, and yeah, inside knowledge. That inside knowledge and my community process can understand one Kalaba scar. So because of this reason, you should pay attention to a group of small body gas scar. When this color impinge this untransparent element, then that transparent element, then we can say this transparent element is I transparent element or I sensitivity or I base. Same. Hmm? So, other than that only you will understand this is I base. So, to understand this, uh, this, to understand this I base, how you should practice? You must practice four elements meditation. But, for those who have already practiced jhanas, who, or, who already ending jhanas, in every sitting, they should try to re-enter one jhana. One jhana means if they prefer fourth jhana, fourth jhana is very good. Hmm? In every sitting, they should try fourth jhana. Which fourth jhana? They can do according to their own desire. So many leaders like white casino, fourth jhana. So many leaders like light casino, fourth jhana. So many leaders like anabana, fourth jhana. 
any way they can look at this city. Based on this channel, coming up from this channel, hmm, then you should take some four elements, four elements systematically. Then, when your concentration develops further, you will see these clubbers. And then, again, please analyze these clubbers. Then, other than you will see eye sensitivity. Whether this is eye sensitivity or not, if you want to test, then you should try a group of small body gas color. When this color embeds this transparent element, then it will be eye transparent element. But when this color do not impinge, does not these colors do not impinge this eye transparent element, uh, uh, transparent element, then this transparent element is not eye transparent element. It will be body transparent element only because there are two color, two types of colors which are transparent. So, because of this reason, you should gain in gain test. Hmm? If it is not, colors do not impinge this transparent element, then you should try another color bar. Please analyze another color bar. Why? There are many transparent color bars. And transparent color bars also many. Body transparent color bars also many. Among this many, Depending on which transparent element and consciousness has only one transparent element. Because of this reason, in the base, Buddha taught Chakonja Pajana the only singular form. Hmm? But in the case of object, Buddha taught Rube Japajana the plural form. Different types of colors. So because of this reason, one transparent element, one transparent eye sensitivity is enough as a base for, uh, to produce eye consciousness as a base. So you should try to design this eye transparent sensitivity. But uh, after designing eye transparent sensitivity, if you understand eye transparent element, then it is not yet enough. Bajanadi, Chakoja Bajanadi, he understands eye sensitivity. Here the meaning is, you must try to understand the characteristic function, manifestation, and proximity cause of this untransparent element. It is silly characteristic function, manifestation, and proximity cause. What is in this silly characteristic? Rumba bi gada raha buddha basada lakana chaku. This is one meaning. What is the meaning? There is transparency of four elements which are ready for impingement of colors. This is one type of silly characteristic of an transparent element. So here you can see transparent element. Of which transparent? Maybe, there maybe you may say, you can see, oh, this is transparent. What is this? Oh, this is glass. Glass is transparent. There must be one object, hmm? one face, which is transparent. Oh, this is very transparent. What is transparent? Water is very transparent. Oh, there must be water, there must be glass. In the same way, here transparent. What is transparent? Of which transparent? Trans transparent is what? Transparency of four elements only. Within same clubber, not different clubber. Within same clubber, transparency is four elements transparency only. But this four elements transparency is ready for the impingement of color. Okay? It is one type of silly characteristic of eye transparent element, eye sensitivity. You should try to understand this silly characteristic or intrinsic characteristic. Hmm? Then, nana is function. What is the uh, another characteristic there? Yeah. Tatu gamma dani dana gamma smoothana buddha sada lekhana wa Oh. 
what is the meaning? In previous life, you had accumulated one type of host, one type of based on craving. What is craving? Craving for seeing colors. What color? You may have a different intention. This is the binet origination. You must try to understand the binet origination again. Oh, you should try to design first causes. Hmm? Slowly, please design a demand mentality material slowly forward. Up to near that moment in previous life. There may be one type of object. In the end of that process, make cognitive process time. Hmm? In the end of that, there is one object is a VIA in your Vanga window. There may be one type of object, maybe any object is possible for host hunter mass. Hmm? So, for example, if you are offering flowers to the Buddha or to the Chidiya, then if you wish for to be a layman or woman, and then, then if you understand this is man or this is woman, this is wrong understanding. Wrong understanding is called ignorance. Why is this wrong understanding? According to Buddha's teaching, man, there is no man, there is no woman. If you deserve holy man systematically, you can see ultimate mentality and materiality only. If you understand ultimate mentality and materiality, this is okay, right understanding. But if you understand this is man, this is woman, this is wrong understanding only. Based on this wrong understanding or ignorance, you you have attachment to the male life or woman life. That attachment is called craving. But repeat that attachment is also called clinging. You have attachment not only one day, but repeatedly you may have attachment to that male life or woman's life. So, depending on this ignorance, craving, clinging, you accumulate offering flowers to the Buddha. That Buddha image object also may appear, or flower object also may appear. This is a host of mass. When you are offering flowers to the Buddha, and then the host of mass rise. These host of mass are called volitional formations. But they are nature and by many. <coughs> as soon as they rise, they pass away. But they left behind the karmic force, which can produce five aggregates. These five aggregates, yeah, according to your own wish, we can say man, uh, five aggregates of a man or five aggregates of a woman. Hmm? These five aggregates <coughs> are ultimate validity, but <coughs> you have wrong perception. This is man, this is a woman, and this way you have wrong perception because of ignorance. And then, uh, if we analyze these five aggregates, there is color. You may have attachment to that man's color also. If you analyze this man's body, there is also color. You may have attachment to that color. Or if you analyze woman's body, there is also color. You may have attachment to color. Why? Some people, they have sexual attachment to their body. So they want to be very beautiful. Is it true? <laughs> huh? They don't want to be ugly persons. <laughs> <laughs> so if they, if they become men or women, they want to be beautiful. This be beautiful beauty, huh? beautiness of color. Skin color must be beautiful, not black color. Is it true? <laughs> Do you want black color? No. <laughs> Very beautiful color you want. Hmm? So because of this reason, that such type of attachment is still present. With such intention, you accumulate that host on mass. Because of this host on mass, these five aggregates appear. Among these five aggregates, there is also color. If you have attachment, five aggregates, or men like or women like, we can say you also have attachment to the kala also. Mm. So, because of the previous host on karma, four elements arise in your eye. <coughs> Among these four elements, four, these four elements, 
there is transparency of these four elements. Hmm? These four elements appear here because of the Hoson comma. That Hoson comma based on craving or ignorance craving in Klingon. Based on ignorance craving in Klingon, this Hoson comma arises. Because of this Hoson comma, here arise four elements. Transparency of these four elements is called insensitivity, which is ready for the impingement of color. So, in this case, if you understand, oh, these four elements are produced by previous karma, which karma is based on craving. Based on craving, you accumulate that whole song karma. Because of this whole song karma here, four elements arise. The transparency of these four elements is called insensitivity. If you understand in this way, we can say now, you understand intrinsic nature of characteristic of untransparency or silly characteristic of untransparency we can say at that time only so check for Janadi you should try to understand check this is only characteristic what is it is function Rubesu Awe Chana Rasa Brings this eye transparency, brings your cognitive and cognitive process to the color object. Oh, please see, please see, please see. Oh, you have eye. Because of this reason, you are able to color the object. The whole cognitive process which understand color arises depending on eye face. Is it true? Yes. So, because of this reason, it creates. It brings you have got into cognitive process and eh? mind cognitive process as well to the color object. So this is it is function. You should also try to understand this function. The another is manifestation. Chaku Wenyana Sa Adara Bhava Pichu It is the base for the unconsciousness in eh? It's associated mental pedas. How many mental pedas? There are seven. Contact, feeling, perception, volition, one point directness, life frugality, and attention. Together with unconsciousness, there are eight mental pedas. These mental pedas arise depending on I'm based. So, when you are discerning unbased or unsensitivity, you will see, oh, this is the base for the unconsciousness in its associated mental formations. After that, you will understand. But you cannot discern unconsciousness. You cannot discern its associated mental formations. How will you understand? Is it possible? Yes. So you must also understand. Un cognitive process, including eye consciousness and its associated mental formation. And that only you will understand, oh, eye consciousness rise to be on this eye sensitivity. And that only you will understand this manifestation, which you put on What is browsing may cause? That you gamma dani dana gamma ja buddha buddha dana say, hmm? Why this untransparency appear? The proximate cause is four elements within St. Lava. These four elements are proximate cause. But these pro four, four elements are produced by pre previous karma, which is based on craving for color. So to see color, you accumulate that Hoson Kamas. Hoson Kamas. Because of this whole song karma, four elements arise here. The four elements transparency is the transparency of four elements only. And transparency is the transparency of four elements only. 
if there is no four elements, then we cannot say there is transparent. We cannot say. If there is no glass, oh, uh, this is very transparent. How we can say because there is no glass? If there is no water, how we can say there is uh, uh, transparent? So there must be one type of paste. That paste is called four elements only. So in this way, you should try to understand. I, other than that, I say that we need to Other than that, only we can say you understand. B I sensitivity. In the same way, in blue line from both that dot, Rube Chapa Jadagi. You must try to understand Ruba colors or physical objects. If you practice four elements meditation, one day you will see color bars. Every color bar has color. This color you should try to understand, to see. But if you see color, then you should also try to design again. It is silly characteristic function manifestation and proximity cause. Okay. What is it is silly characteristic? Jaku Badi Hanana Lakana Ruba. Kala is ready for impeachment of eye sensitivity. That this is it is characteristic. If you want to understand this characteristic, then please listen here. I sensitivity, I transfer the element. Number one, you must already understand. I transfer I transfer an element or I sensitivity. Secondly, you should be addition a group of small particles color. When this color impinge I transfer sensitivity, then other than you will understand. Oh, this color is ready for the impingement of I transfer sensitivity. And then that only you will understand the characteristic of colors. Then what is it is function? It is function is <coughs> Rupa Mata Ramana Rasa. Sorry, sorry. Jaku Wenya Nasa Wisya Bhava Rasa. It is only just the object of Jaku Wenya and its associated mental formations only. If you want to understand this <coughs> function, how you should practice? <laughs> you must try, you must test idol and sensitivity. My do, Punga. Then please pay attention a group of small particles. Then this color will impinge both doors simultaneously. Simultaneously. And then the endo cognitive will rise. Among this endo cognitive process, number second, my moment is unconsciousness and eh? associated mental formations. And then the, you will understand. I consciousness and associated mental formations arise depending on I sensitivity. And then that only you will understand. But when the I consciousness take which object? I consciousness arise taking color as object only. And then that only you will understand. Or oh, this color is the object of I consciousness. And then that only you will understand. Another is that see what God had a picture but a manifestation. What is God? It is the result of unconsciousness and eh? its associated mental formation. So the object and result, what is the difference? Unconsciousness knows only color, this is object. But I consciousness whenever it arises, always it knows color only. Except color it knows nothing. So this is called result. In Pali it is called Gochara. Gochara means pasharing, pasharing place. Now here one rabbit. Again again he is eating this grass. This is is pasta. <laughs> so, in the same way, unconsciousness, unconsciousness, whenever it arises, it takes only color only. No, except color, it do nothing. 
It's same color, it never take any other object. So this is, color is his first sharing. It is first sharing place. So it is called resort hmm? or field. Hmm? Yes. Can say. Hmm. Then what is many uh, proximity cause? Color cannot rise alone. Color always rise with as a small particle. Hmm? Color Among these color always in each color there are four elements. These four elements are pro proximity cause of color. Why? Color of which color? Oh, this is my rock's color. This is his rock's color. This is her rock's color. There must be one type of element which base on which which is the base for color. So there must be one type of article. No? <coughs> In the same way, color of which color? Color is nothing but four elements color only. <laughs> so because of this reason, if you see color, then what is color? Color is only four elements color only. But it, there are many four elements, many color bars, within same color bar only. So at that that only you will understand the proximate cause of color. Such type of understanding, referring such type of understanding, Buddha says, Chakong Jak Bajanadi, Rube Jak Bajanadi. You should try to understand Chakong. I sensitivity. You should try to understand colors, visible objects. In the same way, here, sensitivity in song. No sensitivity in smell. Tongue sensitivity in taste. What is sensitivity in eh? tangible objects? Mind or eh? Tama objects. In the same way both are taught. So in this case, I transparent sensitivity, ear transparent sensitivity, nose transparent sensitivity, tongue transparent sensitivity, body transparent sensitivity, for mind or heart base. Hmm? Then these are rupa or no? They are materialities. Buddha instead to un you must try to understand these materialities. They are they always rise as calabas. You must try to see these calabas, you must analyze. Other than only you will understand ultimate truth. This is Ruba. Ruba, Kala, Sound, Smell, Taste, Tangible Objects, and Tama Objects. These are all these also usually Kala. Sound, smell, taste, tangible objects, they rise as calabas only. You should try to see these calabas, other than only you will understand this color, sound, smell, and taste, tangible objects. But to my objects, there are two. One is materiality, the remaining materialities. The remaining means eye sensitivity, ear sensitivity, nose sensitivity, tongue sensitivity, body sensitivity. These are five. Then color, sound, smell, taste, tangible object. These are seven. What you got twelve? Why they begin twelve? Tangible object is there are three. Between Tejo, Wayo, three. So all together there are twelve. Except this twelve, tw the remaining sixteen materialities are called Tama object. Another is fifty two metal feathers. They are also called Tama uh, object. For inside knowledge, anyone, anyone types of consciousness are called manayana, mana, mind base. So, altogether, if we combine these twelve ayaranas, twelve phases, then all ultimate modality, modality, all finish. So, Buddha also taught in this way, but not only taught in this way. Another book that taught, another sentence. Jack Hong Jack Bajanadi, you must try to understand eye sensitivity. Rube Jack Bajanadi, you must try to understand color, visible objects. Then, Yen Chak Tadu Bayan Bade Chak Obekedi Sanyo Janadi, Yen Chak Bajanadi. You should try to understand. Patterns which arise dependent on both. 
you must also try to understand pandas. What are pandas? They are binding wire. Hmm? They are binding wire. They are binding wire. It binds two iron rods, three iron rods, four iron rods, five iron rods, ten iron rods, twenty, thirty, forty, hundred, more than hundred, etc. Is it true? In the same way, the patterns are also binding two persons, three persons, four persons, five persons, not to run away to each other. Is it true? Hmm? <laughs> what are patterns? How many patterns are there? One well, Mahathira told me, both that dot, there are. 1,500 to find me is put that dot. <laughs> but I think in my body, more than 1,500 to find me is present healing. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> oh, you have many attachments. You have attachment to wives, you have attachment to husbands, you have attachment to sons, daughters, many properties, dollars, etc. Hmm? <laughs> So you have many attachments in different of you have attachment house, you have attachment motor car, huh? is it true? <laughs> so many attachments, more than 1,500. <laughs> 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 so because of this reason that Mahathira told me, he must accept 1,500 to because of Buddha's teaching, but he did inside his body. More than 1,500 defilements are present. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> so many, 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 but as if that there are 10 types of Sanyojanas, eh? Pedas. What is Sanyojana? In one sutta, Venerable Sari Bhagda, eh? Mahagodika, I think so, but maybe Mahatu Aladas, they discuss about this Pedda. Pona, I think so, okay, sorry. What is Pandas? There are two, two pullers. Hmm? Pull, hmm? Here is one, here is one. This is also not Panda of this. This another one. Another is also not Panda of another one. What is Panda? There is one rock. They bind together these two objects. This rock is called Panda. In the same way, there are two, two persons. This is also not fed out of him. This is also not fed out of But there is one fed This is rock. Bind together, binding wire. Hmm? Bind together. This is called fed What is fed There are three types. Number one is the fed of sensual desire. That binding wire is very strong to cut. So because of this reason, if there is any artwork, Hmm? Because of this binding wire, many villages cannot fall down easily. Is it true? Because binding wire is binding tightly each other. In the same way, because of this binding wire, you cannot go away, you cannot go to fall easily. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will go, we will go, but maybe before 2005 or before 2006, etc. You will say, eh? But you cannot easily go. Because this binding wire is binding together. <laughs> so this is one type of sensual desire. Hmm? One pattern. <coughs> if you want <coughs> to design this sensual Sensual desire, I had we explained before. Hmm? That sensual desire cannot rise alone. It arises with associated mental formations. Hmm? Sister Susila explained hmm? uh, mental formations rooted in greed. Hmm? Greed. Hmm? This, there may be not sometimes 18, sometimes 19, sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes 20, sometimes 21, 22, etc. Hmm? Sometimes there may be 19, sometimes uh, 20, sometimes 20, 21, 22, etc. In this way they rise. So, when you are designing this sensual designer, this is one type of pattern, hmm? binding wire. You should try to design associate, together with associated mental formations. But, 
these sensual desire rise as a community process only. For example, <coughs> in this case, hmm? depending on eye base, depending on colors, pattern rise. Why? Because of proximate cause, it's because of unwise attention. What is unwise attention? Oh, this is my husband, this is my wife, this is my son, this is my daughter. In this way, if they pay uh, attention, then this is called unwise attention. Based on this unwise attention, they have attachment to each other. Is it true? If you, if they can see, oh, this is not man, this is not woman, this is not son, this is not daughter. Only ultimate mentality, materiality. This ultimate mentality and materiality, as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are nature, they are dukkha, they are not that, no self. In this way, if you always understand, is it possible to marry? <laughs> <laughs> not possible. Finding wire is useless. Finding wire is useless. Because you always see there is no man, there is no woman. Eh? <laughs> Only argument, materiality, materiality. They are, as soon as they arise, they pass away very, very quickly. They are nature, dukkha, nada. Always, if you see, always means sadhada, vihara. For arahas, they always dwell in this uh, dwelling place. What is their dwelling place? Five aggregates, twelve ironas. 18 elements and dependent origination factors, 12 dependent origination factors, they always contemplate them as nature, Turka, Nanda. This is their permanent dwelling place. Because of this reason, no Arha never marry. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you see this is man, this is woman, this is problem, finding why I will rise. <laughs> Because of this binding wire, you cannot go quickly anywhere. Is it true? Yeah, this is sensual desire. So, another panda is wrong view. But in this case, Bhutta thought, not taking different uh, conventional truths. Conventional truth means according to conventional truth, there is man, there is woman, it is true. But according to ultimate sense, there is no man, there is no woman. There, there are only ultimate mentality and materiality. Two types of truth, eh? conventional truth and ultimate truth. But in this Soda, <coughs> Mahasri Varna Soda, Buddha is actually refer ultimate truth only. So if you want to discern this sensual desire, take the ultimate truth as object. How you should discern? First, you should try to discern. I do, I, I, I do, I, I sensitivity. So again, you should discern my do. When both those impinge, uh, you should pay attention color as object. Hmm? A group of small particles color. When the color impinge both those, then I do cognitive process, and my do cognitive process will arise. In those cognitive process, my do advancing consciousness um, Phyto advancing consciousness and diseasing consciousness. May decide. May decide means really they cannot decide because this is very weak. As if they are deciding uh, this color is beautiful, for example. Hmm? But real de decision is after the into community process. They will be rise Boenga. After Boenga, they are maybe into community process. Then another Boenga, then Maido, then another Boenga, then Maido. In this way, successfully, many Maido cognitive process may be rise. Hmm? May rise. Among these Maido cognitive process, fourth or fifth Maido cognitive process, there is Maido advancing consciousness. That Maido advancing consciousness decision is very slow. Because of this reason, really they understand at that time how they will understand. Oh, this is my son, this is my daughter. This is my husband, this is my wife, this is my dollar, huh? US dollar, etc. In this way, they will understand. At that time, only strong, powerful attachment or greed or sensual desire, sensual enjoyment will arise. 
This is very strong. So depending on I go in color, this sensual desire arises. If this sensual desire arises, you should also try to understand there arises sensual desire in me. Okay? Such type of understanding Buddha is especially the first. Hmm? Then another factor is wrong view. Wrong view is for ultimate truth, the wrong view is sometimes very difficult for meditators. Because of this reason, we usually teach taking conventional truth as object. For example, there is maybe coal, coal stone. Hmm? You should pay attention to the stone as coal stone only. And then you should try to decide, especially in this case, mind door and eye door. Then you should pay attention to this goal. As a goal only, you should pay attention. Then when this object invents both those, the color of this gold, the color of this gold stone, invents both those at the time. I do community process and I do community process will rise successfully. And the dying, you may be addition, this is my goal. This goal, yesterday also my goal. Today also my goal. Tomorrow also my goal. Okay? Yesterday also my husband. Today also my husband. Tomorrow also my husband. Is it true? No, no. This is not your husband. If we say they will not accept. Mm. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> so this is, they are really a nature. Although they are really a nature, they do not see ultimate truth. Because of this reason, they think, yesterday also my goal, today also my goal, tomorrow also my goal. Yesterday also my husband, today also my husband, tomorrow also my husband. <coughs> they think this is permanent. Although they are impermanent, they think, this is also one type of wrong view. But in this case, sometimes some meditators, they must try to discern ultimate truth, ultimate reality in this case, for the Israfari. So at the time, they should be a little color. Oh, this color is the other color. This color is very beautiful. In this way, if they decide, this is really impure, not beautiful. Although it is impure, not beautiful, they decide this is very beautiful. Okay? So because of this reason, wrong view arises. That wrong view always associated with associated mental formations rooted in greed, hmm? attachment. Hmm? Okay. And then, then you should try to discern this wrong view. In the same way, the factor of rights and rituals, this is only outside. Buddha's dispensation. Some may think if we break this as a cow, we will escape from Rono River. If we break this as a dog, we will escape from the Rono River. In this way, they think. So, such type of view is also called the pattern of rights in rituals. This is also right depending, depending on both those. Hmm? Depending on both places, I do in Iado. If you want to discern this, then you should try to discern color. Both do here, I do in my do, then you should be addition this color. Then, if we do in this practice, such like a dog or like a cow, then we, we will see such type of beautiful color in the future. In this way, if they grasp this strong view, they at the end also this cognitive process can arise. But for Buddhists, it is not easy to arise such type of right, such type of wrong view. Hmm? Then number four factor is the factor of desire to go on existing. Bhavaraga Sayojana. Hmm? Bhavaraga Sayojana means for some meditators, they always expecting for future life future existence, one of future existence. Hmm? So if they have certain attachment to for, for future existence, then this is also called Bhavaraga Sanyachana, one type of pattern. 
This is also one thing about finding wire. If they have strong desire for future existence, they cannot escape from round or high blood. Because if they have strong attachment for future existence, they will accumulate wholesome intermarks or sometimes unwholesome intermarks. Because of this wholesome karma or unwholesome karma, they, will, they must be accept one existence after death. Then again, if they accumulate wholesome and unwholesome intermarks for another future existence, then there will be also another future existence. So in this way, as long as they expect future existence, they cannot escape from the round of impact. So if you want to discern this expectation also, then you should try to discern both those. Hmm? And then you should bring a different color. When color invades both those, then you should try <coughs> in future life. Maybe I will I will gain such and such color. Hmm? In this way, if you pay attention, then the pattern of desire to go on existing will be right hmm? for future existence. So you should try to design this ultimate mentalities, uh, rooted in greed, hmm? protect. There may be sometimes from protect, sometimes maybe not from protect. So there may be altogether either of materiality. So that these patterns are associated with happy feeling, so on as well. So that they may be associated with neutral feeling, Ubaka. So there are different types, altogether <coughs> eight types. These eight types of consciousness rooted in greed also you must just uh, take in color as object. In the same way, there may be the pattern of conceit, mana. How the taking color as object, conceit can arise? Taking different maybe objects according to conventional truth, there may be conceit, it is true. Hmm? There may arise conceit and as true. Oh, my husband is better than her husband. <laughs> they may compare. Eh? My husband has many good qualities, her husband is very dull person. Eh? They may contain others, they may have prop. Hmm? Is it true? <laughs> mm. So, according to conventional the conceit is very easy to discern. But here, according to ultimate truth, Buddha is uh, explaining this better. How you should break this? Number one, you should discern I do, eh? my do. Then you should pay attention to a group of small particles color. <coughs> when this color invades for those at the day, you should decide, oh, I can clearly mm -hmm. discern this color. Small body gas color, I can see. They are meditating more than one month. Now they cannot see. Oh. <laughs> you have a lot of conceit. Is it true? <laughs> Maybe a lot of pro. Hmm? So, other than this conceit, mana will arise. Other than this conceit is also always arise with associated mental formations only, according to cognitive process. You will try to understand this conceit pattern, the pattern of conceit. Hmm? Another pattern is <coughs> the pattern of resentment. This is Dosa group. Hmm? The pattern of resentment. Taking different conventional, according to different objects, according to conventional truth. You may have a lot of anger, this is the truth. Hmm? You may see. One hatred person other than Ingram be arise, it is very easy. Hmm? But here in this case, Buddha is explaining only referring to color. <coughs> Taking color as object, how they can be the pattern of resentment hmm? or anger? Here may be the color of egg. That, that is your pure white cloth. Please try to take this home. A lot of anger may rise. Eh? Because you have a lot of attachment to a pure white cloth. But someone may produce dirtiness in, on this cloth with egg. Eh? If you see someone do in this way, you have a lot of anger. So because of this, whenever you see this color, then you have you, the anger 
the factor of presentment will arise again. So if you want to understand this, the factor of resentment, then you should try, first you must try to understand, I do and my do. Then you should try to understand that color. Hmm? That color which that is your white pure clothes. Hmm? Then when this color invades both those, then this factor of resentment will arise together with associated modal formations according to cognitive process. And then you will understand. The another is factor of MB. So then they translate jealousy. Hmm? How you should break this? Taking different objects according to conventional truth, it is very easy to understand. Hmm? Some, some, some person's motorga is very high class. Hmm? Your motorga is very low class. If you see someone's high class modaga, you don't want to see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this can be very strong. Hmm? But in this case, you must try to see color only. <coughs> Which color? Maybe others' eyeglass color is very cool. Your eyeglass color is not cool. Is it true? <laughs> so, other than you don't want to see others' eyeglass color. So, if they do not have such color, such good quality eyeglass, it will be very good. If they do not have such good quality motorcar, it will be very good. In this way, if you pay attention, when the color imprints for those at the time, this can be when associated mental information will arise. You should try to discern this. Okay. Another is the factor of stringiness. Stringiness is you always hiding your property, not to see others, because you don't want to share others. But if they, someone takes your property, you have a lot of anger sometimes. Not because of, uh, because of attachment. Sometimes you don't want to share others this property. You don't let others use your property. <coughs> Such thing of attitude is called sentiness. But it is always associated Color. One type of color, very beautiful color. If yeah. someone use, you don't like. Hmm? So that color also you should try to see. I know in my door, you should design, and then please design this color. When this color in both doors, you should pay addition. Oh, they use hmm? such and such quality, good quality color. Color will be spoiled in this way if you pay addition. This stinginess will arise. Hmm? This, this Resentment and stinginess they are rooted in Dosa group. Another is the pattern of doubt. Maybe in this case, doubt is very easy for ordinary persons, but now when meditating, taking color as object, doubt is very rare. But we teach hmm, how to listen. Please listen, I do my do together. Then please there's a color. A group of small body gets color. And then you should pay attention. Oh, this color is whether this color is the color of other or not. In this way, if you pay attention, then when this color is both those, both those, then the feather of top will rise. Whether it is other color or not, only this. Mm. Nana is the feather of ignorance. Ignorance is always associated with greed, hatred, and doubt, etc. All the are present. When you design greed or sexual desire, the ignorance is also always present. It is very easy. Hmm? So all together they are ten feathers. Why Buddha teach to design these ten feathers? Sometimes they have certain attachment, these feathers also. Because of preceding sensual desire, succeeding sensual desire increase. If you want to eat chicken, for example, if you have good taste, then next time also you have desire to eat chicken. Okay. Is it true? So because of <coughs> previous attachment or sensual desire, this Succeeding sensual desire also arise. 
15 since your designers gain, gain the, uh, the rise then they will increase the penalty when they begin very strong it is not easy to cut this pattern it is not easy because of this reason it is also not easy to go to power very quickly <laughs> 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 because this designer is very strong day by day hmm? so because of this reason, Buddha also have the intention to contemplate this unwholesome the mass. Ten pentas. Ten pentas and their associated mental formations which arise according to the community process. These mental formations also you must contemplate as nature to another. They are also impermanent in this way. Hmm? Yeah. Another sentence. Hmm? Another sentence is Yatha Ubanasa Sanyojanasa Pahana Hoti Tincha Pachanadi. He also understood how there comes to be the abandoning of these patterns. Abandoning of unreason patterns. You should try to understand how you can abandon these patterns. You must contemplate them as nature, dukkha, anatta, etc. When you are practicing in this way, one day, when you, at the end of <coughs> your inside knowledge, but in fruition knowledge may arise when your inside knowledge becomes mature. If four part in fruition knowledge arise systematically, then this part in fruition knowledge will destroy the 10 types of fetters stage by stage. And then, then you will understand, oh, they already have been abandoned, you will understand. Hmm? But another sentence is, Yatha ja pahi na sa sanyo jana sa ayade no vado ho di tinja pa jana di. He also understood how there comes to be the non future rising of abandoned fetters. He had already destroyed these patterns. They will not arise in future. Never they will arise in future. You should also understand how they, how they are going to be the non future arising of abandoned patterns. When you reach Abdul Arhampa knowledge stage, other than this Arhampa knowledge will destroy all remaining patterns completely without remainder. Other than they will never arise in future. So you should un also understand how the non how the <coughs> non future rising of abundant desire arise. You should try to understand. Other than you will completely understand this five sentences. Hmm? I will relate again. A big good understand he must he understand I sensitivity. He understand Colors. He understands the patterns which arise together on both. He also understands how they are going to be the arising of unreasoned patterns because of ionis of Manasigara and wise attention. Hmm? He also understands how they are going to be the abandoning of reason patterns. He also understands they are going to be how they are going to be the non future arising of Abandoned patterns so altogether five sentences. To be near or I sensitivity in Kala, Buddha taught these six sentences. In the same way, to be near or ear base in so no, no sensitivity in uh, smell, tongue sensitivity in taste, body sensitivity in tangible object, mind or in these six pairs Buddha taught in the same way. So this is Ayurana section, Ayurana Papa. But Buddha continue his tomato. Idi Ijadawa Gaya Gaya Nubasi we heredi by Idi Ijadawa to Mesu Dhamanu Basi we heredi. Bay Dawa to Mesu Dhamanu Basi we heredi Ijada Bay Dawa to Mesu Dhamanu Basi we heredi. When you are contemplating the Dhamma objects in this way. You should also contemplate internally. 
you should also contemplate externally and internally and externally both. Then smooth the other man was your guy, so maybe we already is a example of that. So other than you must try to to design to find the origination. Past causes produce present effect uh, five aggregates. Present causes will produce future five aggregates. Because of the arising of five causes, five aggregates arise. Because of the complete cessation of five, uh, five causes, because of the complete cessation of causes, five aggregates cease completely without remainder. Cause also nature. In fact, also five aggregates also nature. In this way, you must try. Slowly, when you are inside knowledge, begin with you and with you are, and if you. Uh, as they ramp up and approach in knowledge, as they are all the final possibilities we are completely. In this way, you must try to contemplate by way of, in terms of 12 Ayurana methods. Hmm? This is Ayurana session. So, any question, please? Maybe a short question will be necessary. <laughs> Long question is not good. So this is a short question. I think I heard you say that the eye sees only color. Yes. And I had thought that the eye sees color and shape. Shape is a last time by after mind mm -hmm. cognitive process, here writes mind cognitive process. That mind cognitive process cognitive process shape as well as this is me, this is room, etc. So that that, that I do cognitive process understand only color. So the uh, the eye does not it's not the eye that picks up the shape. I do not eh? mind do only mind after I do cognitive process many mind do cognitive process has this mind of cognitive process and that's that shape. Shape as well as which color, which color they can distinguish. This is red color, this is white color, etc. Thank you. Uh, how to practice Yoniso Maniskara when you're not discerning um, how, how, if you want it to. It is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> but although it is not easy, <coughs> but by imagination or by learning knowledge, you can contemplate them. Oh, Sabes and Karanicha, all are in Bambini. <laughs> in this way, if you contemplate also, maybe one type of Yoni Sammanesikara, but this Yoni Sammanesikara is based on learning knowledge. Not based on direct knowledge. Mm. All are nature, all are yoga, all mm. are nada. In this way, you should contemplate. All are asuba, also gada. Kama sagada also good. Hmm? They have their own kama. Each person has its own kama. His kama will produce for him. My kama will produce for me. Hmm? In this way, you should contemplate this also. Sayada, um, in the Sutta, the Buddha recommends that we um, contemplate the arising of the Samyojana mm -hmm. as they are. And this is what I didn't understand. When you say arising, do you mean the manifestation of existing fetters, Samyojana? Or the creation of new samyojana. In other words, is it the arising? Uh, you know what I'm, I'm saying? It's the same. Maybe the next one said this. This memorize. Hmm? If we could understand how there comes to be the rising of uh, rising fetters. They are not yet rising, but suddenly it arises. You should try to understand this. But how you should practice and then that only now you should try and design to design I do by do. They please try to design color. When color in which both those you should be addition, this is very beautiful. In this way, the feather of situation desire, etc. will arise. 
and then, then you will understand how they are comes to be the idea of a reason for task. You you face to face you will understand at that time only. But yesterday that uh, uh, situation is higher right. Today you contemplate it's not easy <laughs> to understand. So quickly you must try to listen. The um the sense bases themselves are um comma produced materiality and so the existence of the sense base is itself a manifestation of the samyojana, correct? No, no, no. Then I'm this not is the proximate cause of samyojana only. Only the point. Check on jam, padija, rubija, rubija, di. Check on jam, padija, rubija, parts of fasa, bija, wina, wina, bija, tana, in this way, Buddha taught. In this way, Buddha taught. Check on jam, padija, di, rubija, padija, di. In this way, both are taught. So, depending on both, I know in color, the feather of sensual desire, etc., right? You should try to understand this sensual feather also in this way, both are taught. Okay, okay. Um, Bhante, you talked about, uh, um, I think I'm missing something basic, but. When you talk about accumulation of uh, wholesome karma in past lives leading to clinging, uh, craving in this life, you were talking about color, but I've heard it in response to other things too. I don't quite understand that. Why, why is it the accumulation of unwholesome karma in past lives? Unwholesome? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't understand why it's wholesome karma due to Maybe. the accumulation of wholesome karma. Of Buddha's, according to Buddha's teaching, hmm? in our human life, in each person there are five aggregates. Hmm? Among these five aggregates, there are also karma produced five aggregates also. Hmm? These five aggregates are produced by karma. This karma is wholesome karma only, not a wholesome karma. But this wholesome karma, while they are accumulating this wholesome karma, they based on Ignorance, craving, and clinging, they accumulate this wholesome karma. How? In future existence, they want to be a man or they want to be a woman. They have strong desire to be a woman. They have strong desire to be a man. Such type of attitude is called ignorance, craving, and clinging. With such addition, they accumulate wholesome karma such as offerings, observing, purification, observing morality, hmm? Hmm. and they, they accumulate some matter and we must not go to the mass. When they are practicing in this way, oh, if you can exist, if I began such and such woman, if I began such and such man, it will be very good. In this way, such, with such intention, if you accumulate this whole to the mass, they are called Sankara formations. But they are nature and by many, as soon as they as they pass away. But they left behind the coming force. That coming force follow your mentality, mentality process. That's the latent tendency. This coming force, whenever it gets any opportunity or when it becomes mature, it produces this fact like this. Mm -hmm. When you talk about craving for future existence, would that also mean craving for to be existing tomorrow? Or no, 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 future existence. Mm. Future births? Mm. Oh. Future rebirth. Mm. Okay. Sabasadana, 
Punya baga, punya baga, labandu, labandu, sadu, sadu, sadu.
Sama and Sangha and the way of practice. No much problem. But they have no confidence to themselves. <laughs> uh, it is impossible or not to attain jhana. They have suspect to their uh, their quality. Hmm? So it is not necessary. If they can practice according to the seven enlightenment factor, it is very easy. The another is mindfulness. It is always necessary. Another is effort. Effort and concentration must be balanced at that time. The enlightenment factor of effort and the enlightenment factor of concentration both must be balanced. When concentration is very strong, the enlightenment factor of uh, energy or effort is less. At the time, slowly, laziness will visit to your mind, or you, uh, you will be followed down into Buddha. Because effort <coughs> is not necessary. The effort is very less, very weak. But when your effort is very strong, the concentration is very weak. At the day, because of effort, excessive effort, the restless mind will arise. So they are, you should try to make sure to make balance the effort and concentration. Another is Sada, confidence and wisdom faculty. In this case, wisdom faculty is penetrating the Anabana Prifaga Nimida counterpart side. Confidence is, you should have enough confidence, the way of practice. Or is it possible while watching the breath, how you can attain jhana? It is impossible. In, in this way, if you accept, confidence is very less. Your confidence center is very weak. When confidence is very weak, then you cannot develop further your concentration. You cannot, your concentration cannot develop further. So, yeah. other than confidence and wisdom faculty also must be balanced. Energy or worry and concentration also must be balanced. But sati is always necessary. So if sati is sati go away, you do not remember your meditation object. The the remaining six enlightenment factors will be go away together, together with your sati. <laughs> so these seven enlightenment factors are necessary when you are practicing anapana. In the same way, when you are practicing four elements meditation, you must always remember this four elements object. This is very important. When you always remember your four elements object, then enlightenment factor of investigation of the map will be will work in this function. What is in this function? To penetrate four elements characteristics clearly. Because you are always remembering this characteristic. When you remember this characteristic, your wisdom faculty will penetrate these faculties again and again. If you remember again and again, wisdom faculty also penetrate again and again these four elements characteristic. When you are when mindfulness and wisdom faculty are working together at the day, such strong effort energy is necessary. You should try to concentrate on these four elements object only, not any other object. To concentrate on the four elements objects, your effort must be support your mind, not to run away from these four elements object. This is a strong powerful supporting cause. And then uh, if you lazy, oh, yes, no, improve. I mean, trying for elements of meditation for a long time. Yes, no, improve, then you relax. <laughs> <laughs> then, if effort is very weak, then concentration cannot develop. In the same way, mindfulness also will be weak. Wisdom faculty also will become weak. So, these seven are very important. Hmm? Especially when you are practicing for elements of meditation. At that time, such a powerful mindfulness 
strong, powerful, which can penetrate the four elements characteristic. Strong, powerful effort to penetrate to understand these four elements as they really are. To concentrate the, on the four elements object only. These four are very important. If these four Enlightenment factors are working together, then when concentration develops further, speedy joy will arise. First, the tranquility of mind will arise. Equanimity of mind will arise. Will arise means at that day only they arise. I do not mean. I do not mean at that day only they arise. I do not mean. But they are always present. But when concentration do not yet develop further, at that day they are behind. They are not predominant. When concentration develops further, at that day only joy, tranquility, eh, equanimity, these three enlightenment factors begin predominant pattern. So, what you are bright saying, four elements of meditation also, these seven enlightenment factors are very important. This is Samatha meditation stage. Hmm? While you are practicing Vipassana, at that time also these seven enlightenment factors are very important. To understand this, I will explain with Dhamma Vichya. What is Dhamma Vichya? While you are practicing Samatha or Vipassana, You should try to understand what are whole sentiments, what are whole sentiments, or what are kusala tamas, what are kusala tamas. If you do not understand, you cannot develop whole sentiments, and you cannot avoid a whole sentiments because you do not understand. So, as a Buddhist, what is whole son? What is a whole son? What is kusala? What is Agusala? To understand this very important. If you do not understand, sometimes one something is maybe whole santama. But if you do not know this is whole santama, then you may do not you do not interest to do. Sometimes if you do not know this is a whole santama, you may be always associated with this a whole santama because you do not know this is a whole santama. So as a Buddhist, to understand this is whole santama, this is a whole santama, this is very important. How you should try? First you must try to understand by learning knowledge under the guidance of skillful teacher. This is whole santama, this is a whole santama, etc. Hmm? Now Sisra Sudila, yeah, with project and she explain what are a whole son of what are whole son of This is very important. If you understand by learning knowledge this is whole son of this is a whole son of Okay? You should try to understand by your direct insight knowledge. Direct knowledge. How you should try? I will explain later. Eh? Then another is playing less. Mm, blame me well, Thomas. What are blame less, Thomas? What are blame me well, Thomas? They, they are also saying they are. Uh, Aku select Thomas, uh, who's on Thomas? Uh, blame me well, Thomas. Who's on Thomas? Uh, blame less, Thomas. They are also saying. Another is Thomas that that should be cultivated, and the Thomas that should not be cultivated. Which Thomas you should be associated? Which Thomas you should not be associated. You should try to understand. Hmm? So a whole son Thomas uh, you should not be you should not associate that with a whole son Thomas. You should not cultivate a whole son Thomas. You should be you should cultivate whole son Thomas only. So you should try to understand what is whole son Thomas, what is a whole son Thomas. Then Another bear is superior and inferior to us. What are superior to us? What are inferior to us? Whole son to us are superior to us, and whole son to us are inferior to us. 
Then another way is pure in evil dhammas. Wholesome dhammas are pure, <coughs> pure dhammas. And wholesome dhammas are evil dhammas. <coughs> you should also try to understand. So how you should try to understand? And Nivarana says, I had to explain how to do this, huh? five hindrances. Hmm? In the same way, for example, depending on I base and my base, mind too. If there are any object, taking any color object, any unwholesome must arise, we should try to design in this way only. Last night also I had to be explained. Eh? First you should try to do this, uh, I do. Then secondly you should do this, uh, my do. You should try to see beautiful colors, such as gold color, flower color, etc. When these colors invent for those, you should decide, oh, they are very beautiful. If you pay attention in this way, a whole lot of mass will arise in your impression to my movement. And then, then you can discern this and hold on to us. In the same way, please discern I know in my door. There may be one person you do, you hate. Hmm? When this object impinge both doors, this object of color, that person's color, impinge both doors, and then, then you decide, oh, I hate too much. Hmm. In this way, if you decide, the doors are group and hold on to us will rise. In this way, Depending on your unwise attention, a whole sort of mass will arise. What is unwise attention? I already explained. Hmm? All the mass are impermanent, but you said they are permanent. Oh, yesterday also my son, today also my son, tomorrow also will be my son. Yesterday also my father, today also my father, today after tomorrow also will be my father. In this way, always you accept. This is you are accepting impermanent as permanent. Is it true? In the same way, they are always <coughs> oppressed by rising in passing with these objects. If you get a sample elements systematically, you can see glabas. When you analyze these glabas, you can understand ultimate materiality. These ultimate materialities are as as they rise, they quickly, very quickly pass, passing away. There is no time to tell this is father, this is mother, this is I, this is he, this is she, in this way. They are very, very quickly rising and passing away. But you think this is father, this is mother, etc. Then this is, you are taking empowerment as permanent. In the same way, they are always oppressed by rising and passing away. So they are suffering to God. But you may have, you may accept this is to God. And this is Sukha. Why? If you see your sons and daughters, oh, very happy. If you do not see, then I'm happy. <laughs> so you are accepting Dukkha as Sukha. Then Another as other, no self as self. This is me, this is he, this is she, this is son, this is daughter, etc. In this way, you accept. Behind this perception, there may be some type of other. Some type of other, especially outside Buddha's dispensation, many people they accept soul hmm? or self. Hmm? But in Buddha's teaching, there is no soul or no self. Who control our mind or who control our body? So, you should ananda, these tamas are ananda, but you accept as other. This is a wise addition. These tamas are impure, but you accept pure. This is also a wise addition. Depending on this unwise addition, a whole sort of are always present into your mind. But if you can change their nature, environment, they are dukkha, suffering, they are ananda, non self, they are in viva, asuga. In this way, if you can pay attention to these objects, 
the whole Saint Thomas will be present. Among these whole Saint Thomas, seven Enlightenment Pandas are usually always present. Usually, may be the join, sometimes may be present, sometimes may be not present only. Other remaining six Enlightenment Pandas are always present. If you can contemplate this, Adime Medalady, Adime Medalady as Nicha Toka Ananda. Then these seven enlightenment factors will be usually always present. So, while you are practicing Vipassana, these seven enlightenment factors are more and more important. Mm. So, what are seven? Now, I had me in brief explain, but how about that, please? They have been Enlightenment factor of mindfulness in him. He should try to understand there is enlightenment factor of mindfulness in me. There be no enlightenment factor of mindfulness in him. He should try to understand there is no enlightenment factor of mindfulness in me. So if mindfulness or enlightenment is present, you should try to understand, oh, this is present in me. But if it is not present, then you should try also to understand it is not present in me. If you do not understand, how there can be improved? So, when you are practicing Anabana, for example, or when you are practicing Vipassana, if you do not remember, Anime Medalady, Anime Medalady, and their causes as Nisha Toka Ananda, if you do not remember, you are remembering your house. <laughs> You are work or you are money, etc. Then, how this enlightenment factors will develop? Okay, so because of this reason, this if mindfulness is not present in, in you, you should try to understand mindfulness is not present in you because you do not remember always this Adimi mentality, Adimi mentality, they are causes as we said to that. Then, again. Yet, I know Banasa, Sadi Sambo Jengasa, Obada Hodi, the Shak Bajanadi. He also understood how they are going to be the rising of unreason, enlightenment factor of mindfulness. When you contemplate these formations as nature, took another again, again, you are always remembering this. Impermanent suffering and no self nature of these formations. And then, then you, you can understand all. Oh, there comes to be in me the rising of unreason enlightenment factor of mindfulness. Because at the time, mindfulness, enlightenment factor of mindfulness always present in you. Because you are always contemplating. At the time, the other the remaining seven enlightenment factors also will be present in you. Why? The enlightenment factor of investigation or dhamma will realize this is these formations are nature or dukkha or data. At the day, to understand this nature, nature, dukkha, nature, and the nature of these formations, strong powerful supporting God's energy is necessary. Energy is supporting not to go away from this object. Then, at the day, strong powerful concentration will also so, will be concomitant. How? Huh. When you are contemplating these formations as nature or dukkha or nada, at the day, your concentration will be concentrated on that nature, nature, dukkha, nature, nada, nature. Your concentration will not fall away because strong powerful energy is supporting to your concentration not to fall away from this object. When you are concentrating on that, this is called jhana, vipassana concentration. They translate this concentration, momentary concentration. Why momentary? The object formations are rising and passing away. You are following these objects again, 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 again. Because object is not stable, momentary. The subject concentration also cannot be stable momentary only. Do you understand? Because they are falling. But from this environment or suffering or non-self nature, mind do not go away. 
and then the concentration also very powerful. When concentration becomes powerful, the enlightenment factor of joy, the enlightenment factor of tranquility, the enlightenment factor of equanimity also will increase. So when these seven enlightenment factors are working together, well, you are contemplating formations as nature to another. One day, your insight will become mature. At the end of your insight knowledge, but improving knowledge will arise, realizing nibbana. But improving knowledge will realize nibbana. At the end, supra mundane seven enlightenment factors are present. What are supra mundane seven enlightenment factors? Mindfulness of the enlightenment factor of mindfulness always remember nibbana object. The enlightenment factor of investigation of Dhamma will realize Nibbana, will penetrate Nibbana object. The enlightenment factor of effort will try to realize Nibbana at the time. Then the enlightenment factor of PD rapture will arise because when he realizes that Nibbana the strong, powerful joy will rest in him. The other day, the enlightenment factor of tranquility also will be present because the object nirvana is very peaceful. Taking this peaceful nirvana object might begin very quiet, very cool, very cool down tranquility. Other day, equanimous mind also will rest. Equanimous mind means equanimity is other day. Equanimity Control your mind not to fall down pitfall or dangerous pitfall or dangerous traps. What are dangerous traps? Five hindrances or defilements. Hmm? Not to fall down into the dangerous trap, trap defilements area. Hmm? So, as the equanimous mind control this problem, hmm? not to fall down. So, all seven enlightenment factors are taking Nibbana as object only not formations. So, because of this reason, if they are the enlightenment factor of mindfulness is always present in you, you should try to understand the enlightenment factor of mindfulness is always present in you. When it arises, then you should also try to understand all. Oh, because of this reason, this reason means when you are contemplating these formations as an insight to another. Because of, this is called wise attention. Because of this wise attention, this enlightenment factor of mindfulness is rising. Then, when it will be perfect, one day you will attain a hardship. Every day, this enlightenment factor of mindfulness will be perfect. Not necessary to increase more. In the same way, the other seven enlightenment factors are also same. Today's letter is not here. Okay. Any question? Earlier you were saying that the five controlling faculties, one was sada and then the other one was wisdom, with relation to anapana. What is the wisdom there? Penetrating anapana, nimeda, or maybe for ordinary person, penetrating the anapana. So many leaders, they say, oh, I do not see the breath. I do not know the breath. There is no breath. <laughs> The Western faculty is at a weak. Pinya is very weak. When concentration develops further, they will penetrate here and you make that different types of nimitta. Penetrating this different types of nimitta is called Western. But penetrating it by seeing the elements, the kalapas, the characteristics of the kalapas? Um, in this case, you are not practicing samatha. In samatha states, kalapas are not necessary. Only just believe again, you make that. This is, uh, you are penetrating. Why would you say penetrate? Before meditating, you never see this, you make that. Now you are practicing systematically, and that, that only you can see this, you make that. Because of this reason, we can say you penetrate this, you make that. This is wisdom faculty. And you should keep that balance with confidence? Yes, confidence. What, if, why do you need confidence at that time if you're seeing it for yourself? For example, here, you make that is coming. Oh, 
it is impossible to admit that. You <coughs> have no COVID yet. Then it will go away. <laughs> Mm, okay. Um, Sayadaw, so uh, when you're talking about um, uh, the faculty of investigation mm. and clear comprehension of the breath, mm. clear comprehension, you said uh, you know that the breath is long, short, subtle, gross. Are there any other things you're supposed to know besides those four? Maybe in some other case, it is uh, about this only. Okay. But when you are practicing with Basana, you must disappoint him with your breath. You only see breath is nothing but a group of kalapas, small body gas. Other than you should analyze this small body gas. Then you will see in each body gas there are nine types of material such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive acid, and breathing soft. This life. Other than <coughs> you must try to understand these nine types of ultimate materiality. And then again, you must contemplate them as Nietzsche Toka Ananda because they are as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are Nietzsche Toka Ananda. At that time, Kriya Kumri Hinshe, eh? the enlightenment factor of investigation is the same. The enlightenment factor of investigation, what investigate? The enlightenment factor of investi investigation, investigate, this is Nietzsche, this is Toka, this is Ananda. In your comprehension, understand this is nature, this is yoga, this is nature. They are safe. Going back to the, if you're doing samatha practice though, um, since you can't have your attention on two things at the same time, um, and it seems to me there are two objects in samatha. There's the touch point where the breath goes over the touch point, and then there's the qualities like long, short. And I'm wondering if um, there's a balancing act there that can easily get out of balance where you're not, you can't pay attention to both at the same time, so you're just going quickly from one to the other. It should be easy. That shouldn't be a problem. It could, that my, couldn't. My meaning is that first, as soon as you sit, you should fix one point. Then you should be, you should be at the same breath. When you are paying addition breath, <coughs> breath is going through this one point. Going in, going out. Hmm? Through this point. And then, then you should not emphasize point. You should emphasize only breath. Only one object. Mm -hmm. okay. hmm. But why we fix point? Mm -hmm. Not to follow inside, outside only. If you follow inside and outside, your mind is going inside, going outside. Then if you you are doing in this way, the concentration cannot develop further. Because of this reason, we fix one point only. But after fixing one point, you should not emphasize point. You should emphasize only breath on the point only. And then, then if you forget point, touching point, no problem. If you do not follow inside outside, it is okay. But <coughs> when your concentration develops further, Naturally, you will not see your body. You, you will not see your nose, your face, your body. Only just breath and mind. At that day, it is not necessary to search for touching point. Only just stay with that breath only. Mm -hmm. mm. And then, what is the antidote to lack of confidence when you get to a certain point and the memory arises? This is where I lose it, and you. Try not to panic, but you just have the memory, this is where I get off track, in the past. Mm -hmm. What's the antidote to that? And I'm wondering if that's the cause of uh, falling concentration. Mm -hmm. please, please, please. I, do not, uh, I do not understand your question. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Let's mm -hmm. say that we, if uh, you have a memory that when you get the subtle breath, mm -hmm. that's where you get off track, and that's where you lose concentration. The memory alone can cause lack of confidence. Even if you're not saying, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Just remembering that in the past, that's also very painful. 
she will also not remember to you <laughs> at the Nego sensation quantum. Because you do not remember the breath. Your mind is wandering to some objects. To the memory. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Monte, um, I wasn't sure that I was following what you were saying when you were talking about the uh, arising of, um, of piti in the body being that, that uh, uh, I, I can't remember what kind of, but um, certain, wa- a wave of kalapas go through the body. Is that what you were saying? Something no, no. <coughs> when piti, ex- excess concentration states. Mm-hmm. When PD is PD is very strong, that strong PD is strong majority does they inform me like they are above weight, going in this way, in this way, in this way. They yeah. feel like that only. Mm-hmm. This is excess concentration stage. That's that wasn't what I was remembering. I might, I'm, I might be remembering it wrong. It was like the actual feeling of of the PT you said was produced by mind-produced kalapas that flood the body, that are temperature and um, uh, the th- three, not, not water. But I, I wasn't sure that I was understanding it. Tangible right. object. Tangible object is, if you touch, you can feel only hardness, roughness, heaviness, or right. softness, weakness, exactly. lightness. You can feel Heat and cold. You can feel supporting and pushing. Mm-hmm. These three are tangible objects. When these three tangible objects impinge on the, your body sensitivity, mm-hmm. body sensitivity is throughout the body, mm-hmm. everywhere. They may produce clubbers also everywhere throughout the body. And those may produce clubbers, there are three tangible objects. They impinge on your body sensitivity, other than such type of feeling appear. And, and this is what's produced in jhana? Excess concentration also can produce, jhana mm. also can produce. But at the excess concentration stage, their impingement is very strong. Right. <laughs> because mm. of this strong, mm. powerful impingement, you feel like you are above on the, fl- uh, the waves only. Right. But in excess in, uh, in the uh, absorption concentration stage, they are very subtle. While you are put on the above on the cordon wall, if you put wine, wine will be spread mm-hmm. throughout the cordon wall gently. In this way, other than very gentle, but very peaceful. But it's these mind-produced kalapas that flood the body. Yes, the no, mind, no, mind do not spread, PD do not spread. PD together with hmm? consciousness, that consciousness is absorption consciousness. Mm-hmm. That absorption consciousness associated with PD, that consciousness produce kalapas uh, throughout the body. I see. Thank you. Okay, okay. Sorry. Um, so I, I have a question about uh, the um, kalapas that when they are, they arise and pass away very quickly. When they arise, where do they arise from? And when they pass away, where do they go? Uh, there's there's a very famous scientist um, who who said that. Um, matter can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only change form, or it can only change from one form to another. But it doesn't ever arise or pass away. It doesn't, be, it's never created or destroyed. So what, are they arising from a previous Kalapa is giving birth to a new one? On and on, like where, and then where do they go? Maybe, yeah, one can tell it. Hmm? One also cleans, exhausted. Hmm? Wood also exhausted, cleans. Hmm. Then fire also sees. 
This player go to where? <laughs> Does this player go to where? It disappears. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it disappears only, dissolution only. Scientists, they do not see ultimate truth. Mm -hmm. Before ultimate truth stage, they can see and understand. But they do not understand ultimate truth. Because within Kalaba, one Kalaba, there are at least eight types of materiality. They are as soon as they arise, they pass away. They, again, they arise. Why they arise? If you want to understand, you must practice this to bring the origin, you see. <laughs> and then you will understand, oh, this, there are four types of cause. One, calabas are produced by previous karma. Some calabas uh, are produced by previous karma. Some calabas are produced by your mind. If you want to understand, mind produced calabas, please do like that. You can do. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Can you do? This is my produced calabas uh, in this hand. But before you are doing also they are calabas. So they, they are mixed together like uh, different, oh, what you call it? Different, different powders. What you call it? Yeah. Different dust are mixed together. Hmm? In the same way, here are four different types of cause. Kama produced material, uh, calabas are also here. My produced calabas are also here. In each calabas, there is a stage of fire element. That fire element is called Tejo, that Tejo is called temperature. That temperature also can produce new generation. So temperature produce, clubbers are also here. Then, you are always eating <laughs> edible food. That edible food also can produce many generations. How they operate? You should design four elements in your undigested food, new eating food. You can see only food is nothing but a group of calabas. In this calabas, there is nutritive essence. When digested fire support that nutritive essence, then that nutritive essence produces many generations throughout the body. So that nutritive essence produces materially also present here, four types of cause. Number one, karma. Number two, mind consciousness. Number three, temperature. Number four, nutritive essence. These four types of cause are still present. They will be rise again. As soon as they rise, they will be passed away. The solution. Why? Cause is impermanent in nature. How the effect can be nature permanent? Cause impermanent means you may understand here. Now you. Your mind is listening. Please see behind. Please, please see behind. Oh. Yeah. Now you are listening, <laughs> my tomato. You hear. Yeah. I do cognitive process, right? Then if you pay attention, another, you see, I do cognitive. Here do. From here do to I do. Mind is always changing. If mind is not changing, Anger person will be, the whole life will be angry. <laughs> <laughs> attachment person, the whole life will be attachment only. <laughs> so mind is also changing. Because of this, they all are impermanent. But scientists, they do not understand ultimate materiality, especially how the food, hmm? edible food, produce new generation, they do not understand. How temperature produce in each club? How temperature produce new generation? They do not understand. How nutritive essence produce new generation? They do not understand. Why? Why naked and they cannot see the nutritive essence? Why naked and they do not understand temperature? This is the object of wisdom I own. Okay? Questions. Um, when going back to pity and sukha, is um, pity more a physical form of happiness and sukha more a feeling, uh, emotional almost? I mean, could you categorize it that mm -hmm. way? Oftentimes, pity has a physical. 
No physical, this is also mental, but mm. usually PD is associated with sukha. But sukha is not always associated with PD. Because in first jhana, in second jhana, PD and sukha, they are associated to each other. But in third jhana, there is no PD, only sukha. So feeling, sukha is feeling. PD is one mental factor. But PD in Sukha, what is the difference? PD is only like the object only. When you like one object, this object, oh, this is good or not, then you are Sukha feel only. If it is good, then as a good Sukha feels only. So, because of this reason, if you like this, and then this, this is PD only. You have uh, joy, hmm? or they translate rapture. What is true? I, what translation will be true? I don't know. Hmm? PD is only. Oh, what I forget. Hmm? Only just liking or maybe what? Hmm? Music. Hmm? Music. What else? Maybe one word I forget. Hmm? So just only liking only. Usually PD is cross, then Sukha. Sukha is more quiet feeling. Mm. Thank you. May I, may I ask my second question about this Bhavanga mind door business? Sometimes I've heard you talk about uh, thinking about this metaphorically. You say as metaphor only, and sometimes you say look there and see that. Yes, so see, I get, see I get also metaphorically this way, maybe cause and effect only. Now you see Bhuenga Maido like mirror, this is only effect. Effect means this mirror is produced by you, you are Bhuenga Maido only. Bhuenga my consciousness. You are Bhuenga my consciousness can produce, mind produce calabas. Among these calabas, there is color. That color is transparent and bright. Among these calabas, there is Dijo. That Dijo also produces new generation. Among these generations, there is also color. That color also transparent and bright. Combination of these two types of color parts are pure luminous transparent mind door. This is metaphorically the Buddha says mind door only. Real Bhuvanga mind has no color. Mind is mind only. Mind consciousness mind only. Now you are listening my demand talk. Do you hear? Uh, ear do cognitive process arise. That cognitive process has any color in the same way. But here you see color. That color is the effect of your Bhuenga mind consciousness. Your Bhuenga mind consciousness produces this color transparent bright element, luminous element. So because of this, this is also metaphorically called mind. Okay? You said that you have mental mind formations and karmic formations, mm. but don't uh, they both occur in the mind, don't they? I mean, other than external karma that uh, impacts on you, but aren't they both in the mind? What, what, what do you Car mean? Karma formations mm. and mental formations, you said they were two separate. That they were acting in Maybe mental formation is usually used. Huh? Ultimate mental, maybe consciousness and huh? mental factors put together. They are called sometimes mental formations. Consciousness and mental factors. In every mind moment, yes, consciousness and mental factors, they are always associated. <laughs> in some mind moment, at least eight types of mental formations. In some main moments, they are maybe 34, etc. They are mental formations. Coming first is especially referring in previous life, you had accumulated wholesome commas to produce these fat aggregates. We usually use this coming force. Polish in a formation.